Ah, I can go here. What a mill that once was. This is it, surely. I can't move this out of the way. Maybe I should come back some other day. Goodness knows what I would give to live in a castle just like that one. Okay, here I am. Simple maid of all work. Finding in the distance, the monumental castle stands ephemeral and out of reach. Ah, okay. Make the town. I missed that. This silly old thing. To think Lepkuchin and I used to spend entire afternoons taking turns on this swing. Secured by slightly frayed rope and covered with pine needles, the swing's wooden plank sways gently in the breeze. I'm so glad you dropped by, Elise. Why don't you lend me a hand? I have my hands full tidying up after that windstorm, you see. I can lend you a hand with that, Miss Ariani. I was hoping you could fetch me some eggs from the coop. Give it to me, Miss Ariani. Careful with the hens now, you hear? I dare say they're still riled up after last night. Out of my way, you feathered rat. One, two. I passed. Oh my, these will hardly do, Elise. What the eggs do you need? Archer is going in to be rather disappointed, the poor lad. For your time, Elise. Thank you, Miss Ariani.
Oh, it's wonderful seeing ladies making merry, isn't it? It reminds me of my time with Gretel and your grandmother, at least. The three used to be very close, I remember. Oh, we got up to some mischief, that's for certain. That's hard to imagine, if I'm honest. Seeing those ladies running about gives me hope, Elise. You, Freya, and Leprechaun, too. All good girls. I can't say I won't leave town eventually, Miss Rickentide. Keeper Burger's our home, Elise. I would say that alone is worth our while. I suppose. More good than bad coming our way, God willing. You must keep a positive outlook, Ludwig. The festival's a week away. Are you still talking about the windstorm? Even the last has had enough of that, you see. Old Jockin's right, Heinrich. It was more than a mere windstorm. I think I speak for all Kieferberg when I say it's better to be safe than sorry, that's all. Spreading this nonsense about town is doing more harm than good, Mr. Luffy. I have to agree, old oldie's losing her wits. Other hands can have a word with her later. As for us, we have to act before it's too late, or we'll never hear the end of it. Oh, Elise. Oh, Elise, perfect timing. What's the matter, Miss Myri Mariel? Oh, old Lee's losing her wits, you see. She's rather suspicious, after all. I suppose it could be bad, considering her age. Really? She's been coming in and out of the alleys, too. I sp suppose she's fretting over the damage, but... Are you done with the cleanup, Miss Ariani? Oh, it's taking a while, but it's coming along. Oddly won't last a week carrying on like this. Without our support, I'm afraid she'll... Hmm. Elise, Elise! I'm busy. Shoo, shoo! We're so boring, Elise. No wonder you're always in such a bad mood, Elise. Oh, I'll tell you who's always in a bad mood, you little... Please, Elise, come play with us. She won't. She's a coward. Coward! Coward! Well, I'll show you the coward. Give me that. How'd you do that, Elise? Oh, she's good. You did it from so far away, Elise. Hmm. I'm making too much of it, you brats. Her arms are longer, that's why. Cheater, you're a cheater. Why, you... Hmm. Yeah, let's check out over here to the right. Oh. Oh, Elise. You don't look so good, Miss Dorothea. Have you seen Miffy Bunny Chance? I ought to make sure she's doing her daily readings. She's awfully behind. No, I haven't. Have you tried asking Miss Dorley? Yes, I was told she was sent to the well for water, but she's not there. Oh, at least I can only pray she's all right. She does wander off quite often, does she? Won't you please tell me if you see her? Oh, what am I to do, Elise? Other hands knows what's best for us, oddly. Is everything all right, Miss Marlin? Bertha said it. It came from the woodland. For goodness sake, Miss Hodley. Old Jackton's been withering, withering about this nonsense, you see. Oh, we need to convince Father Hans to tell us the truth. What truth? Our hands knows as much as we do, anyhow. Old Stanfin warned us, lass. He said that we... For goodness sake, old Stanfin... Old Stefan was on his deathbed. 
can't keep on clinging to his gibberish. You may be right, Merlin, yet I still. Gather your prayers and compose yourself now. Oh, I suppose. Hi, War Lassie. Here I am, Miss Wil Wilma. You've heard, I'm sure. About the windstorm? Yes. What oh, the hell with that nonsense? I'm talking about the festival. What about it, Miss Wilma? Hi, oh, Elise. I didn't take you for a simpleton. What do you need? I would appreciate, appreciate it if you didn't waste my time. I don't get in temper now. I need your help with the inn is all. I've already talked to Freya. She'll be lending us a hand as well. They'll go by faster with both of us, at least. But don't be silly. You'll be cleaning up. I need Freya's eye for the flower garlands. Why, you... You'd best be prepared to lend a hand, you hear? That. Oh, Shack. I wonder if... I wonder what she keeps in here. Elias loves Adiel. This must be... It must have been left by some guests, I guess. What a mess. Hmm. Oh, that's, oh, that's the water well. Can't go up. Folks' homes are left behind to rot after they go on to meet their marker, huh? Such a waste, isn't it? Imagine you're him across from Wilma's Inn. Oh, what Sui Elise, was it? Hmm. Are you sure that's all, sweetheart? Yep. I'll be looking forward to seeing you again, at least. Wilma's home is rather folksy, isn't it? This red wall of hers is such a nuisance, though. I suppose I could. I heard it was a whole reel to get this grindstone down the hill. The worn down, rough looking grindstone sits at the centerpiece of the resting area. Working on Sunday again, Elise. I'll have to keep myself fed, I'd say. Hey, Elise, you've been considering rebuilding these homes? These piles of rubble. What for? Told you, fellas. A uh, Saul and Kieferberg will give it the time of day. I don't see how it would be worth the hassle, that's all. It's such a shame they're sitting right by the village square, too. But who would choose to settle in Kieferberg of all places? Come now, folks. If we don't rebuild our own town, who will? You're right, Gustav. This is our home, after all. There's no swaying you two, is there?
I'm guessing that she's really hidden. Wood chickens. Hmm. I already did a chicken. Oh, I didn't go in here yet. Okay. Oh. As much as I dislike Sunday Mass, I have to admit I feel a peep here. Yeah, the old geezer is always about. Bathed in sunlight, each stained glass panel casts a warm glow over the church's jellied marble. I'm not sure where that person is.
I guess you chop wood. Oh, wait. Rathi is looking for you, Molly. Eek! No, not the daily readings. Oh, for goodness sake. I, I'm not going back, at least. It's a Sunday. Well, I'm working either way, aren't I? Ah, but but you're different. What's that? I, I'm i just a girl. I can't be working all day just like you. Molly can get herself in trouble all she wants. I can care less. Okay, well, since we found her, back. Goodness, Elise, did you find her? She's out eating everything she can find, it seems. Now, what am I to do with that girl? You'd best leave her be, Miss Dorothea. I'll have a word with Miss Lorelei, that's what. I got this for her, but you can have it. Ah, wait a minute. Oh, you didn't have to, Miss Dorothea. Minnie's my problem, at least, not yours, I suppose. Ah, oh, least, could you lend me a hand? Couldn't you chop some firewood for me tonight? What about using those branches scared around town? Oh, I wouldn't want to touch those. Hmm. How many logs would you like, Miss Elizabeth? I'll be needing quite a few to make some cheese later, so don't hold back. Alright, all right, I'll be on my way. Why don't they ask Frey to chop it for them instead? Kick. Okay. Goodness, Elise, I won't have to chop wood for an entire week. I suppose I got a little carried away. This isn't nearly enough to compensate you, but... There's plenty, Miss Elizabeth. Thank you. Hi, Elise. I thought you'd be in town. 
Oh, I just stopped by to pay Miss Crittle a visit. She's been wanting to teach me this recipe, but I can't seem to find the time. Recipe for what? Oh, I'm so glad you asked, Elise. You see, Papa's a big fan of her honey milk bread, but... Mr. Gustav? He's got the biggest sweet tooth, you know. That's a little unexpected. I've been meaning to learn this recipe is all. Why not get it from Miss Grittles? Ah, it's a little embarrassing, but... Papa... well, he's always said that, but... Um, you don't have to tell me, Freya. He says he likes my cooking better because, uh, he made made with love. Oh, I know Elise, but he's so embarrassing. It's always lovely seeing you, Elise. Anything else? Some pretzels, maybe? Oh. Alright, wander around a little bit. Looking after the flowers, are you? Oh, Elise, Mama asked me to look after the hearth for a bit. You said you're out here playing with Lilla, huh? It's so boring, I'll give it a glance at it once in a while. I wonder what Mrs. Linda would have to say about that, Jacob. Oh, but you wouldn't tell her, would you? Not if you promise to keep a proper eye on it, I won't. I promise, Elise. You've been spending too much time with Apfel, you know. We came up with this other idea to prank Wilma. Apfel's over there planning out right now. We might pay him a little visit then. Need to have a word with you, Elise. Come to my attention, you, met, you went home rather late yesterday. Oh, for goodness sake, Bernhard and Ludwig are quite concerned about you. My apologies, Father, but it wasn't just my own fault. Whose fault was it then, would you say? It's water under the bridge, Father. I would like to let it go. Although that's rather reasonable, Elise. Eferberg has no need for conflict. The town is tense enough as it is. I understand, Father. You must all make allowances for each other. You say so, Father. Please. I said I understand now. You have to excuse me. Thought you'd be holed up in the church all day, Leb. Been waiting for Miss Audley. She asked me to pray the rosary with her outside. Says she needs blessings after I lend a hand in the alleys. Lending a hand? What's she doing out there? Withering on about the rich? Well, I'm totally yes. You put up with too much for this nonsense, Lib. You know my answer to that, Elise. It's my duty to play make-believe with Miss Audley all day. You wouldn't understand. Elise? Why have me fretting over you at this rate, you know? Aren't you already? More than you fret over me, unnecessarily, I add. Speaking of Miss Audley, she's rather late. I can keep you company until she comes about, Lev. My good deed for the day. I have a better idea for your good deed of the day, Elise. Moving along to work and stop wasting time. Go on now, I'll be seeing you later. Your youth won't last working on Sunday, my dear. Mine didn't, that's for certain. It shows, I'd say. But you believe we're still not done with the alleys? Why, that certainly is taking a long time. I'm surprised you haven't lent a hand today, Elise. It's a Sunday, Miss Bertha. We all have time on our hands. Ah, is that so? Why don't you come and tidy up my kitchen, then? I could certainly use the time. Come now, it's not as though the lass hasn't been working all day. Doing what? Collecting eggs? Doing whatever it is folks need, Miss Bertha, as always. You two will never see eye to eye, will you?
As Mr. Wilhelm shut himself in again, we told him we'd be coming by, but chances are he's up to no good again, the old donkey. He'll be meeting his maker sooner rather than later at this rate. If only you did even half of what he did at this age. You're going to talk, you. Isn't he one to snap on Sundays? You've been knocking, but he's deaf as a log. We'd best come back later, lads. Carrying all that wood out of the alleyways without this cart is a little... To hell with it, Finn. We can get Gustav to lend us a hand. Eugen, too, if he's still about town. Running around town, I see. As I do, Mr. Gustav. Weighs me down seeing you that hard at work on Sunday. Why don't you come for dinner one of these days? Oh, I wouldn't want to impose. Rhea would be jumping for joy, you know that. I'm grateful for the invitation, truly, but I have, uh... Some soup. Some soup spoiling sometime tomorrow, you see. Rhea talks about you day and night. I can see your close friends. Oh, that's... Whatever the reason, Elise, you're always welcome in our town here. Thank you so much, Mr. Gustav. It's only a matter of time until Freya brings you around, you'll see. Hi, Elise. You don't mean to tell me you're still working. I don't have much of a choice, Miss Brunhilde. Or they can't be good for you. You're too yielding, Brunhilde. Oh, I can't help it with my baby on the way. Those are some inevitable worries, Brunhilde. Inevitable? Miss Ariani? That's nothing worth mentioning. We can get the Primal Lord may would very well be our only option, sadly. It's only a matter of time, Brunhilde. Kieferberg no longer has much to offer. I left Primaldorf behind for my husband, but... You won't be staying here for long either, will you, Elise? Elise is too self-driven for Kieferberg, always has been. Oh, I suppose. What are you doing, Apfel? Josh, look. Alma's losing her wits. Losing her wits? It worked. We did it, Elise. What worked, Apfel? Jacob and I hit a bunch of these branches in her shed. That's your prank? Why don't you come up with a better idea, then? I'm not the one who wanted to prank Wilma to begin with. You were just as giddy about it as we were, you liar. I was not. Or two. I'll tell Miss Wilma you pranked her. I'll tell Wilma you pranked her if you do. Why, you... Oh, it was absolutely horrifying. What happened, Miss Wilma? Those dreadful branches inside my shed. I heard nothing of the branches reaching the inn. They didn't last. It's a mystery as to... Someone or something left a... Well, I wouldn't even know what to call it. That could be that it was coming from the woodland. Elise? Why would you say that, Elise? No reason. I'm simply going by what the others have been asking, Mr. Ludwig. It was you. Oh, I just know it. Huh? Come now, Elmo. We can't be saying such careless things. Really, but I still ought to say... If there's anything about you, Elise, oh, for goodness sake, I'm done talking to you a lot. Elise.
That's auto. There you are, Flock. Got to be nice being a goat, huh? Not one care in the world, oblivious to everything. she is. Rosa Marine. There you are, Rosa Marine. Elise. I didn't know you were back so soon, Elise. Huh. I still ought to head back to town, mind you. What are you doing standing out here? <laughs> oh, just waiting for the stars to come out is all. A little too early for stars, don't you think? I find it helps me air out my thoughts. Air out your thoughts, you say? I'm waiting for the waxing crescent. It's... Important I set my sight on what's to come. Sooner or better. What do you mean, Rosemarine? I see you, Elise. I've dreamt about you before, about Kieferberg, too. Last night, or... I know this may sound strange, but I didn't quite stumble upon Kieferberg by accident. What do you mean? Do you believe in fate, Lise? I don't know. I've never given it much thought. Then you most likely wouldn't believe what I have to say, but... I've always known my fate would be with you, Elise. Huh? Too soon to be having this conversation, if I'm honest. I mean, to wait until you are ready, but... I don't understand, Rosa Marine. Ready for what? You'll know in time. What's with all this mystery? Out with it, Rosa Marine. What are you trying to tell me? It took me quite some time to make sense of it all, but... Everything's feeling so strangely nostalgic to me. Nostalgic, you say? Your name, your voice, your home. This breeze, even. All that surrounds you. So much of it feels like home to me. That's not possible, Rosemarine. It's you the stars told me about, Elise. I'm certain now. Never in my life have I ever heard such nonsense, and yet I'm covered in goosebumps. I can tell you don't believe one word of what I had just said. Rosemarine, I... I think I'll stay out here for a little while longer, if that's alright. I promise I won't be too late for supper. Alright. Don't stay out here too long, you won't hear. I won't, I won't. Yeah.
Oh, I'm finally done with my work for today. I'd best head over to Mrs. Gretel's to see Lepkachin. What am I doing talking to a goat? Elise. Hi, Elise, welcome back. Got some bread, let's settle down and eat. Would you like me to start making dinner for us tomorrow, Elise? That's not a bad idea in itself, but... How am I to know you won't make a mess of it? Best thing I want is to spend my evenings in the outhouse. I have you know I'm on proper cookie, Lise. Never once did my sweet granny disapprove of anything I prepared. Well, I suppose I can't do much harm. I know, Urza Marine, you are to sleep up in the attic from now on. Can't have you hanging around the granary and bringing all that dust and cobwebs inside. Oh, I can clean it out for you, Elise. It's really no trouble. I've had my fill of running about looking for you day and night. Oh, Elise. I wouldn't want to be a bother. And I wouldn't want you nesting with all the mice and geckos. You're sleeping in the attic, and that's final. You hear? I'm letting you sleep inside where it's perfectly warm and... Did you hear that, Rosemarine? Hear what? I'm taking the broom. You stay here, just in case. I'm not going anywhere and try to figure this out. You. Eek. Eek. Please spare me, Elise. Muffy. What in Lord's name were you doing here, Miffy? <laughs> I I was out in a stroll. I swear, I swear in my aunt's name. Ah, uh, and you just so happened to hide behind my house, you see. Who who doesn't? You sneak about folks' homes every now and then, too, don't you? What are you doing here, Mandy? Tell me right now, or I'll scrub your mouth with soap very minute. Eek! It's it's getting quite late, isn't it, Elise? I'd best... Out with it! Out with it! I, I saw her, that girl you're housing, Elise. You saw nothing, Molly. She's not from around here, even I can tell. You're having supper together and everything, Elise. Keep your mouth shut, Mubby, or I'll... Why don't you serve some of that bread you've got, Elise? I might k keep quiet if you do. I should have guessed that's what you wanted. I hear as much as a word about this, Molly. Oh boy, oh boy. Call Elise. Why don't you bring me a pretzel tomorrow? Mouth shut or I'll throw you into the well. Eek! Don't come back, or else. For goodness, sake. For goodness sake, this is the last thing I needed. I'm sorry, Ike. Is she gone? Mm. This could be bad, Rosemarine. <laughs> Oi, Liz. I genuinely didn't see her. I would have told you if I had. <laughs> Don't you start fretting now, too. Don't you think she'll tell anyone? Mm. If she does, we could be... Aww. in trouble? I know, Rosemarine. Sorry, Ike. That's Rosemarine. Oh, shuss. I'm heading back inside. Yes. Oh, yes. Another quest for food items. Keep her from stitching and raising suspicions. Oh, jeez. These dangerous. I have to be careful. <laughs> 